what we're gonna do is adding some game rules okay so for example this is annoying right yeah right ho oh, ho yeah so we'll fix uh, each of those problems one by one but first let's fix some easy ones so this thing we don't like that right we don't like that this is not playable it's a bug so this one is easy to fix so we only need to go to here click the project name here and we can set each of the orientation the orientation right for each of the device here device type so let's do iphone first so device orientation we only need a portrait so get rid of that now let's check this one and uncheck that you see we have to uncheck this now we can put back i phone and uh, let's double check that yeah it works so now let's rerun it to test now it's good right yes okay next um we need um for that one to avoid this one we need to check what color right of the piece black or white right so let's go to our game engine oh no that's we need to add a property in chess piece right the three properties we already have is its location right column the row and uh, the image name now let's add a third one here so what is the data type for color right black or white so you might think something like that right like a color then string right so we can use something like white and the black for that that is one option right it works but it's not the best idea because now what about this right is this if we need to compare this and that to make sure it's the same color or not right okay now you might think okay so maybe we can use int to represent the two different colors right yeah there are many uh, design decisions we can think of so for this one for example you use zero for white right this is also this also works and the one for black yeah so we can compare so we need to keep consistent in whole uh program anywhere we need to check the color right we need to compare oh we cannot use any other integers right because two doesn't make sense there's no third or fourth color in the game we, ha we only have two players and so what if we encountered something like a number four? Oh my god what is that color it will break the our code so it means this is still not the best idea we only need two values right so what's the best data type for that you get it right boolean boolean has only true or false like that so 
for example, we can we can set like true for white, okay, and uh, false for black. Now, everywhere we put our code using this variable, we need to memorize its semantic, right? What it means, true. What is true? True is white. Oh, oh true is white. Oh, it, it, it's true, white or black. That's annoying if we have to, every time we have to check, have to go back to check the comment to make sure. So, can we improve that? Can we make our code more user friendly or more readable? Yes, there's a convention used a lot by Apple engineers and all the programs in the world. It's like, we can use a different name, is white, right? Now we don't need the comment, right? If it's true, of course, Everyone know, oh, we mean the white color, white piece, or white prayer. And if it's false, if white is false, of course, everyone understand. Oh, it means it's a black prayer, black piece. Yeah, black side. Okay, so let's keep it there. Now, do we need to fix our code? Because we add a property maybe, right? We, that's command B to compile. Oh, a lot of mistakes. So let's see what, what is, what's the problem here? Uh, is inside this one? No, this one. Yes, missing argument is in which file? Chess engine, right? We can click here to jump to there. No, this one? Yeah. Then we can go back here. We know it's inside the chess engine, right? Fortunately, we can auto fix this one. Insert. Ah, okay. Do we have, yeah. So many different places. That's okay. Let's fix one by one. Brack, rook, of course. Fix. Oh, now let's hide this so we have more room here. We put a brack rook there, right? So, of course, is white is four. Let's make a copy of that. What about this one? White. True, right? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Is white. Yes, it's true. Obviously, is white. <laughs> the image is white, Rook. Okay, and we mean a uh, white piece there, of course. Now this is black. Okay, fix. Black is false. Wow. I highlighted different. Yeah, okay. False. Now this one. True again. This one. Black. So it's false. White again. Is white. Is true. Yeah. I can use tab key. Okay. So this one. Can I use tab key? No. So tab key. No. Hmm. Tab key. No. I have to. So it's white force. What about this one? Sorry, this guy. Yes, now true. This one. What? 
That's the bug of Xcode, I guess. Yes. Now, Brad Force, okay. Oh, that's annoying. Force. This one, true again. Don't go there. Wow, it's, yeah, you see? That's command B to refresh the compiler. Now, this one is true. Nice. So, for the palm, black palm, of course, this is false. Now, this guy, core, cool. true again. So, we fixed most of them. Command B. Now, what about this one? It's tricky. Insert. We. That's how we make a move, right? Remember, our strategy is we remove the the piece from the old location and we insert. We create a new piece and put it in the destination, right? Destination is two colon and two row. Image name candidate dot image name. So what is is color? Of course, it's candidate dot, right? Candidate dot is white, the same color. Do we fix all of the compiler complaints? Yes, it builds, right? It builds successfully. Let's run it. Okay, all the pieces are back. So, we added the property for the piece. Now, how can we handle something like that? We can add the rule here, right? Um, candidate is here. Okay, so, mm -hmm. I think we can save this in our next video. Okay, see you then.